Okay, assuming that you just watched the last video and you have downloaded Zotero and you've created your online cloud account, the next thing you can do is go up to your edit preferences. Now you can see here what I've done is I've already opened Zotero from my desktop. So I double clicked on the desktop icon, it opens up, then I go into preferences. Now there's a lot of things you can do here. You can always go back in and change them or turn certain things on, turn certain things off. You can see here a, a list of the types of style guides that they have uh, included in the program. And then you can actually go in there and get additional ones. Uh, for my course of study, we had to do APA 7th edition. Well, it's a 7th edition now, it was the 6th edition. So I'm going to just go ahead and say that's pretty good. Uh, the sync. This is the thing that you really need to uh, think about if you want to back up your stuff to the cloud. So I have my data syncing to my account online. Syncs automatically and syncs the full text content. Now these are all things you can change later. But the important thing to remember is that you've uh, connected to your online account. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention in the last video was that when you're putting in your uh, Zotero email account, so the email that you're attaching to your Zotero account, uh, you may want to have that be something other than the ohio.edu account, just in case you graduate and leave here. You want to make sure that you're still getting updates uh, to another email account that won't be disconnected. here to export. Now here is where I have it set to APA 7th edition. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. Word processors. This is another, so underneath site, word processor. This is where you can install a plugin to your Word or your uh, LibreOffice account. Uh, downloaded program so that you can have Zotero talk to your word, uh, pro your processor, word processor, uh, as you're typing out a paper. So for example, you'd be typing in a paper, blah, 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 you have to cite something, you click on the Zotero embedded icon within Word, it will open up Zotero, you can then select which item you're going to be citing, it will then put the in-text citation into the Word document and then create a reference list on the back end. I believe uh, Hannah is going to be talking about that later on in a separate tutorial. So that is, uh, in a nutshell, how you would get your account synced to your online cloud account and set everything up within this, uh, your Zotero preferences to a specific style guide, etc.